Awesome. Now, let's say you really like this simple storage contract. You love all of the functionality except for one thing. You wish that the store function didn't just store the favorite number. You wished it added five. So for some reason, you want a contract that does everything this contract does, but just adds five whenever you call store. For some reason, you want everyone's favorite number to be five larger than what they think it is. Well, one thing we could do is we could just copy paste this into a new file. But again, that's kind of too much work for me. I'm a lazy engineer. <laughs> but let's go ahead and see how we can approach this problem. So let's create a new file and we'll call it add five storage dot salt. And same thing, since this is a new contract, we're gonna follow the exact same tips. We're gonna do SPDX, license identifier, MIT. We're gonna do pragma solidity, 0 0.8.18. Let's even do the little caret here. And we'll do contract, add five storage, like so. Will it compile? Great, looking good. Oh, I'm getting a warning. SPDX license, spelled license wrong, so let's spell that right. Okay, cool, looks good. So like I said, the first thing that we could do is we could copy paste everything in here and then just change the pieces that we don't like in our add five storage. This is a little bit redundant, a little bit too much work, and we are engineers. We want to work as hard as possible to be as lazy as possible. So how can we do that? Well, this is where we can do something called inheritance. We can have our add five storage contract be something called a child contract of our simple storage contract. And we can have our add five storage inherit all of the functionality all of the functionality of our simple storage contract. So first, of course, in order for our add five storage to know about our simple storage contract, we're gonna go ahead and have to import it. So we're gonna do import, and we're gonna do, once again, the named imports because we're advanced Solidity engineers. So we're gonna say import simple storage, just the simple storage contract from dot slash simple storage dot sol. Now, if this dot slash is confusing to you, don't worry, we'll learn about directory structures later on in the course. And then we'll say our contract add five storage is simple storage. Now our add five storage is gonna do what's called inherit everything from simple storage. And our add five storage is gonna have all the same functionality as simple storage. We can actually see this directly. If we go to compile, let's go ahead and delete our previously deployed contracts. We're on the remix VM. Let's make sure we're We've selected add five storage, add five storage .sol. Let's go ahead and deploy it. And if we scroll down, we can actually see, oh my goodness, it's got all the same buttons as simple storage, even though the contract itself doesn't have anything to find. That's because we inherited all of the buttons. We inherited all of the functionality of simple storage into add five storage. If you want a contract to inherit the functionality of another contract, you just import it in and then say your contract is that other contract. Now we can keep going though and add our own custom functionality into add five storage that's not in simple storage. So for example, we could say function, say hello, it's gonna be a public and it returns a string memory. And again, you need the memory keyword because strings are special in Solidity. And we could just say return, hello, like so. This will be a public here. It's not a view because we're not reading from storage. And again, if that assertion is a little confusing to you, don't worry too much about it now. But if we go to deploy it, let's delete our old one. We'll deploy this one. We see we have all the functionality of simple storage plus this say hello function. Great, but let's delete that for now. Let's say instead of wanting to add additional customization, you actually love every function in here except for one. Remember, the reason we wanted this add five storage .sol is because we actually wanna change the store function to have it add an additional five to people's favorite numbers. Maybe you're mischievous and you want people's favorite numbers to be five greater than they are. Well, to add this add five customization to that store function, we can do something called overrides. To do overrides, there are two keywords that we need to be aware of. Those are virtual and override. If I were to try to create a store function for our add five storage right now, what do you think will happen? Well, let's try it out. So let's say function store UN256 underscore new number public. If we try to compile this right now, we'll actually get an error, even if there's nothing in this store function. We roll over, we say, from Solidity, type error. Overriding function is missing override specifier. And remember, if you get lost or confused, an error like this is something perfect for you to ask ChatGPT or maybe even find. We could say, I am trying to compile my Solidity code, but I'm getting this error. So we can copy this whole error here, paste it in here, and then in additional context, we'll just add the code like this. We'll hit search, see what it gives us. We'll say, and it looks like find was able to find the answer. 
The error message indicates the function store in the add5 storage contract is missing the override specifier, which is required because it overrides a virtual function from the simple storage contract. Thanks. I'll explain what find is giving us in just a minute. It's right. We need to tell Solidity that it needs to override the store function in simple storage. We want to be very explicit and say, hey, do this store function and not what's in simple storage.sol. So let's go ahead and add that keyword override. Now, though, if we just add that keyword, we go ahead and try to compile, we still get an error trying to override a non virtual function. Did you forget to add virtual? In order for a function to be override a bowl, you need to add this virtual keyword in the base class or the parent class. So in simple storage, we need to add virtual to store. This virtual keyword means that this function is overridable. Any function that doesn't have this keyword, you can't override. Now our store function is override a bowl, and we've specified that we are indeed going to override the store function. Now, if we go ahead and compile, we'll see everything compiles successfully. All right, great. So now let's just add the functionality to store. Remember, since add five storage inherits everything from simple storage, this means that we even have access to my favorite number. So what we can do is we can say my favorite number equals underscore new number plus five. We'll compile this and now let's try it out. We're on Remix VM. We want to make sure we're with add five storage. We'll delete the other ones. We'll deploy, scroll down, hit the drop down. Retrieve currently returns zero. Now if we store two, we'll pull up the terminal to make sure we're actually sending transactions. We'll hit store. And now if we hit retrieve, we see we indeed get seven back because two plus five is seven. We add five, we hit store, retrieve now returns 10. So this is how we do inheritance and override functions.